I think um, that's what I think that's what's important in in films, uh, especially in this kind of a film where you do uh, where you make a love story based on relationships and where everything is so real. Even the clothes have to be like that. Um, I am styled in the film, but the styling is effortless. And that's very important because otherwise you're going to constantly get distracted by what is she wearing or what is this hair and what is this makeup and, and you take away from the performance or you take away from that character. It's very important to style according to the character and, and, and the requirement of that film. Absolutely. One thing I love about your styling way, uh, Anaita, is it's very simple and very elegant and you never overdo it. So what is the one must-have accessory in your opinion though? I mean, oh my god. I think right now it would have to be uh, the statement necklace. <laughs> See where both went. <laughs> a statement necklace, yeah. I think, you know, it's not about wearing accessories everywhere, like bangles, rings, necklaces. But one strong statement that says something about you. Mind saying about me, it says that I'm very confused. Uh, but you know, just getting back to what Deepika was saying about the film, I think uh, we've reached a stage now where we want to see relevant glamour. I think costume design has reached a stage where you want to believe your characters. I think the audience has become extremely discerning. I mean, I'm sure you'll all agree that you want to see your characters as they really are. So if Deepika is playing a girl who works in London and lives in London, there's no need for her to dress like she's a tramp. <laughs> so I think it's very, very important that there's relevance, even in terms of textures, uh, you know, just the, the, the fragrance of the clothes. It's very important that it's relevant. So relevant glamour. Absolutely. And Deepika, we've heard that a lot of your friends from Bangalore are in town and they have been hanging out with you in Mumbai. So what do they think of your transition and your transformation? They've gone back. <laughs> but, um, you know, I don't think much has changed. Apart from the fact that I'm just a lot more busier, I don't think anything else has changed and I'd like it to be that way. Um, I've realized that I'm here to work and to concentrate on my films and that everything else will follow whether it's the fame or the success or the, the fan following or the awards or whatever it is. My purpose here is to be a good actor and to perform well and to be a part of good cinema and uh, everything else will follow. And also in the July issue you've mentioned you've somehow managed to get yourself off your cell phone. How did you do that? <laughs> She's never on her cell phone. Never ever. I mean even when we were shooting this story with Vogue, I, mean, I think we did uh, six beautiful portraits and yeah, she came in early in the morning.